Congratulations on your new Volkswagen Atlas. I'm here to help you make it truly yours, from what you see while you're driving to what it feels like to drive. In the next few minutes, I'll help you customize your Atlas and point out some great features you may not have yet discovered. I have Linda here to help me. Let's start with one of my favorite features. With all the great cargo space you can use, your hands are sometimes going to be full. No problem, you can open the rear hatch with a quick kick, call it an extension of your leg. With the fob on you, just make sure your foot reaches a little under the bumper. You'll know your Atlas has seen you because the rear light will flash. Then you have a beat, a second or two, to step back out of the way before the hatch opens. To close, simply press here. Linda, do you have kids? Three little ones. Well, so you don't have to worry about them getting out of your Atlas before you're ready for them, you can set your rear doors to be in child-proof lock mode all the time. Just pull the key out of the top of your fob and insert it into this slot on each door, and turn. Do it once and it's done, until you use the key again to unlock them. That way you won't accidentally change the setting. You'll also be glad to know that when your windows are going up, they'll reverse on their own if something like a child's arm or a favorite toy is between the top of the window frame and the glass. And if your Volkswagen has been out in the sun for a long time and you want to let fresh air in as quickly as possible, you can lower all the windows at once by pressing and holding the unlock button on your fob. Just one of the cool things you can do with your keyless entry. Okay, let's go inside. As you know, the infotainment screen is where you can set all your preferences for music, for navigation, how you want your Kessie keyless entry to work. For example, unlocking all the doors or just the driver's door. All your preferences can be set from here. You'll note that there's a setting button in the lower right corner of the screen. It lets you quickly customize any of the functions you're in. From the infotainment center, it's easy to set up your Volkswagen digital cockpit. You'll see a depiction of your instrument cluster and options for what information you'd like displayed within the traditional speed and RPM dials. Things like elevation, compass, range, and time to destination. You can also choose what information will be displayed in the center of the digital cockpit or choose a completely different display mode. You can even have your navigation displayed right in the digital cockpit. In short, you can customize based on what is important to you. Below the infotainment center is where you can charge your compatible mobile device. Just place it face up here. You can connect Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible devices wirelessly with App Connect. There are also two USB-C ports for both charging and data transfer, and more USB-C charging only ports in the rear. And since your Atlas really is a family car, you can have two phones connected and choose the one you want to display. Depending on where you're driving or just your mood, you can also change your drive mode. Press the button on this knob on your console to toggle through Eco, Normal, Sport, or Custom Drive Modes. You'll see each on your infotainment screen, where you can also choose and save the settings for your custom driving mode. The same knob, when turned, lets you adjust your four-motion all-wheel drive to the terrain you're on. There are four choices. Snow, On-Road, the default setting, off-road, and off-road custom, where once again you choose settings that let your Atlas optimize traction and stability. Remember, a button push changes your drive mode, while turning the knob controls your four motion mode. You may also have noticed that the engine automatically turns off when you stop and restarts when you release the brake pedal which is designed to reduce fuel usage. That's a big reason most people love it. But if you don't want this feature working, you can disable it here. But each time you turn off your Volkswagen, the start-stop feature is reactivated upon starting again. And if you ever need to call for help and you're registered with Carnet, there's a big red button here for emergency assist. The climatronic controls here let you turn on and off the heated seats and let you see and set the temperature throughout so everyone can be comfortable. That's just some of what you can do to make your Volkswagen even more enjoyable to drive. And you'll be glad to know it's all backed by our carefree coverage, which comes with every new Volkswagen. Coverage includes carefree maintenance, roadside assistance, a new vehicle limited warranty, and CarNet remote access features such as remote lock and unlock. See the complete suite of benefits at vw.com coverage. You'll also want to download the MyVW app to put everything, such as service reminders, scheduling, and history at your fingertips. When you activate VW CarNet in MyVW, you can also do things like lock or unlock your doors or find your car in a parking lot. 
If you haven't yet signed up for MyVW, we can do it now. Download MyVW from your app store. Log in if you already have a VW ID or choose sign up and enter your email and a password of your choosing. Once you accept the Volkswagen ID terms, you'll get an email with a link to the login screen. There you'll be guided through setting up your account and preferences. Your new Volkswagen should show up automatically. If not, enter the VIN found on the driver's side of the dashboard. You can see it through your windshield. The app will then ask you to either scan a QR code or enter a registration number. You can find these in your infotainment screen. Just go to Menu, Settings, VW Car Net Online Services, Registration. Accept the terms of service and all the essential tools and information will be ready to use.